the main goal of the project is to kind of understand what has been the impact of the introduction of the internet and the diffusion of the internet on the information that ultimately people are exposed to. The second part focuses instead on how internet affects traditional media, particularly newspaper, and particularly looks at how the impoverishment of traditional media may have actually negatively affected the information ultimately available to citizens. Because of competition from Facebook, Google and other online platforms, additional media will have access to less advertising revenues. This will cause basically, you know, traditional newspaper, for example, to have less money, fire people, devote less resources to collect information. And because traditional media still accounts for the bulk of investigative journalism and basic news gathering, then we're going to end up having people having access to less information rather than more. In the end, who gather the actual information is always the usual suspect, always the same traditional media, but with less resources and less stuff. You can copy as much as you want. It can be all over the social media, all over search engine, but you will still know less about it. Because now traditional media have less resources available due to competition from online platforms, they also become more vulnerable to the pressure of outside parties, particularly advertisers. The idea is like, I'm more cash constrained now, I cannot afford to offend my advertisers, I have to really do whatever they ask, and I become more vulnerable to their pressures. So what we're gonna do is really trying to collect information about the various way in which banks and media can be related, through lending, through ownership, and through advertising, and try to look at how media that are more connected to banks may actually provide different, different coverages of issues that banks may care about. And here is really this relationship between traditional and new media that we're really gonna focus on, which is like pay attention. It's not, again, it's not because you have access to a thousand source and before you only had access to two, that you're necessarily more informed. Again, the amount, overall amount of information you have access to could actually be lower. You can hear it from many, many voices, but it's still the same piece of information or even less information that you receive. You're not gonna be more informed, but less. I think that's a big question for a world and for the way the world is evolving. And as social scientists and, you know, there are big policy implications, we may wanna know more about that. And that's what research is for.